It is Tuesday, October 12th of 2021. And all of my, all of my plans have finally come together. <laughs> For what they are, you know, here. My guy's daily drive. Bam! Welcome everyone to Guy Stanley Drive. Even though I've been recording now for, I don't know, however long it's been, I've mostly just been rambling away at some silly crap, which is nothing like what I do all the time for Guy Stanley Drive. But I have specific rambling crap to talk about today. That is, that is the plan. Rambling crap that means something to me. Hopefully to you too. So this weekend, this was a this was a long weekend or holiday weekend for a lot of people here in the U.S. With Columbus Day being on Monday, so a lot of places, not every place, a lot of places had the day off. But uh, it was quite a busy weekend for me. Sunday, of course, I recorded the My Mac podcast with Gaz. Whoops. And uh, then did all the editing. I still need to do edit the video, which actually takes a lot less time than the audio. But I haven't done that yet, and I still need to do that. And the reason why, I was going to do it Monday. And that was my plan for Monday. But then we heard, we heard from my son, Guy. Guy Jr. And he was actually supposed to be out of town for most of the weekend because a friend of his is getting married and he's part of the, the wedding party. So, wow, bumpy road. So they, um, they had a bachelor party set up in Atlantic City. But Guy came down with what's most likely strep throat. So he was feeling very poorly Wednesday and Thursday and wasn't able to go. Well, thank God it didn't, he didn't come down with it while he was in New Jersey. Oh. So we heard from him, uh, it was either Sunday night or Monday morning, and he was telling us about all this. And as he and Tracy were talking, they started making tentative you know, talking about going down to see him and doing stuff for the day down in Richmond. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, let's, we haven't, we haven't seen Guy in, in a little bit. And he's, he's about two hours away if traffic is good. So that's what we decided to do. So instead of editing video, <laughs> instead we went down to, um, we drove down to Richmond and got down there. It was 11.30 or so. Traffic was amazingly good for this area, which surprised me. And so we, uh, we went to lunch at this Thai restaurant and all the food that we got was quite tasty. I had fried bananas and vanilla ice cream for dessert. Oh God, so good. And then we went to, I think it's called Bell Island. And I'm sure I have this wrong. It's in the middle of the, the James River. And it's this big island that has had kind of a storied past. It was, uh, in, in, uh, I can't even say it. In, in, ah, Native Americans there <laughs> used to fish off of it. Um, the Confederate government used it in the Civil War as a prisoner of war camp for a while. Uh, it had a steel mill and a um, quarry right there on the island for a while. I mean, it's a very, very busy island. And I guess just its, its proximity being in the middle of Richmond just made it 
really convenient for a number of things. But it's been it's been kind of left on its own for a while. And the city of Richmond built a pedestrian pathway underneath this big bridge, this big vehicle bridge that they have, so that you can get to the island and walk around. And it's it's beautiful. As you as you walk around this island on the, the shores of Richmond, you can see Hollywood Cemetery. There's like natural falls and there's white water and depending on how the river is running, some of them might even be like class four rapids. We saw some people in uh, canoes and stuff that were doing it yesterday. And I was telling Guy, and even though I'm, you know, I'm getting older now, so how, many, how much longer I'll be able to do some of this stuff is questionable. I was like, if you wanted to go whitewater rafting, you know, I mean, not serious seat of your pants, oh God, we're going to die whitewater rafting, but, you know, sedate, ooh, look, we're going down this small drop, kind of 61-year-old appropriate whitewater rafting, yeah, that would be fun. So, we go walking all over this island and took lots of pictures, and Guy is really, really getting into photography and videography and a number of things like that. And he's got a lot of good, really good equipment. And the camera he has take, takes like these burst pictures all on its own, five to 10 to 15 pics at a time. It's, it's really neat. And you can hear it. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Anyway, so we're on Bell Island. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing here, dude? Speed up. Oh my God, he's on his damn phone. What an idiot. This guy's doing like 30 miles an hour on a 40, 45 mile an hour road talking on his phone not paying any attention to what's going on around him and if I had a leg to stand on based on my well doing this I would probably be much more upset than I actually am watch out crash reported ahead yeah there's a crash reported ahead I see it so many dumb people so little time so few bullets. <laughs> he's still on his phone. I can see him. He's in the left-hand turn lane. Oh, my God. All right. Well, let's see what's going on with this crash. Live drama here on Guy's Daily Drive. That's a pickup truck. Ooh. Well, you know what? They were smart. At least they got off to the side of the road pickup truck and some four-door sedan they're pretty wasted but there's like three or four cops taking care of it so nothing more needs to be said for me and mr. BMW here with his loud muffler and his spoiler slowed down to uh, get a really good look because you know loud muffler on a BMW with a spoiler means you don't have to say you're sorry really should say you're sorry there, dude. So, Bell Island, it was beautiful. I highly recommend it to anyone who is in the Richmond area. And we didn't, we didn't even see a quarter of the place. Um, since, you know, we went down there for lunch. And by the time we actually got to the island after lunch, it was, it was 1.30, 2 o'clock. And we wanted to be hoping to get back to Alexandria before it got dark, but that didn't happen. We ended up, by the time we got back to Guy's place and dropped him off, it was probably 
So that was when we got back on the road to come home. And it was dark by the time we got home. We had a lot of traffic on the way back. People probably coming home from a long weekend. So, but I mean, that was all the stuff that we did yesterday. And then today, we're getting together with uh, my other son, Peter. And we're going to go see the Beatles tribute band, Rain. That's tonight. And I have talked about it a lot, so you can guess how much I'm looking forward to seeing this. I've wanted to see this band for a long time. And finally, 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 going to see them. Front row center tickets. I mean, literally, best seats in the house. So this is going to be, this is going to be, going to be great and it's my first time going to this particular venue so I, I don't know how it's all set up you know maybe front row center aren't the best tickets <laughs> thought they were but we'll see the other the other thing about it is uh, their their COVID plans their COVID rules are you have to show your your vax card when you get there you have to be vaccinated to attend or go to any part of it and wear a mask, which, you know, I mean, it's fine. I've, I've been vaccinated and I have my card. I have a picture of the card on my phone that I have in notes, but I will, I will take it with me just in case, just in case I actually, they want to see the card, but I'm hoping that picture of it will be enough I'll, and I'll leave the card I'll leave the card in the car so that uh, I don't have to walk around all evening getting it all sweatified so those are the plans so I'm really looking forward to that I'm, I'm going into work to take care of just a couple of things I, I was actually going to take today off but I had forgotten that yesterday was a holiday so I didn't want to leave a bunch of stuff undone to deal with Wednesday. So if I can take care of all the weekend stuff this morning, then that'll mean I have less I have to worry about tomorrow. And I can go to the concert without giving it too much thought. So those are the plans. Those are the things that happened. So it's been, you know, crash aside, stupid idiot talking on his cell phone, going super slow on a high-speed highway aside. Idiot in a BMW with a loud muffler and a spoiler because reasons aside. This has been a pretty upbeat guy's daily drive. If you would like to help contribute to guy's daily drive, it's very easy to do so. You can join my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot, you can go to coffee, ko-fi.com and buy me a coffee, three bucks, buy me a coffee, <laughs> ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot, or you can pay a pal by going to paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. Those are all the different ways you can help support me. You can contact me podcast at vertshark.com is the email address vertshark.com is the website and what a wonderful website it is all of my audios all of my videos are right up there uh, with the exception of the my mac podcast that i do every single week with gaz uh, the audio version of that which is exclusive to my mac.com uh, has all the after show stuff i don't put the after show stuff in the audio or video that I put on vertshark.com. That is exclusive to mymac.com. What else? Um, Chuck's Tuesday Night Gab Fest, Mac Voices. I won't be on tonight because I'll be at this Beatles concert. Or Phob 4. <laughs> the Phob 4 Beatles tribute band concert. Uh, let's see. There's also, of course, Guy's Daily Drive. And I'm still looking for a new live project that I can do. I've got everything set up to, to stream live at home. I just need a project 